I'm Mark, this is my uh, second vlog. I'm fishing here at Lac de Villafon again. It's now January the 6th, 2014. Where I left off in the last vlog, I think we had, uh, we had a couple of 30s. Well, the conditions today, I come here, I couldn't get on the lake as I wanted over Christmas. So, I come here, as I say, we're in January now. The weather is actually quite warm, it's not too cold little bit of wind, little overcast, but I was confident when I arrived this morning because I see a couple of signs of bubbles, which in winter you don't normally see any signs of feeding fish on here, but seeing a couple, of, they weren't on my spot, but seeing fish feeding definitely give me confidence that I might have something today. Uh, I did get one session in, in between uh, now and the last vlog, and I lost four fish. When I say I had two actual runs and two were just beeps and the rod tip ever so slightly knocking, I hit them nothing there and normally I'd be hitting them expect fish and I racked my brains and eventually I worked out what I was doing wrong and where I'm fishing under the margin was there's a lot of silt on the bottom and because I'm dropping it with the boat, my rig, as I'm dropping it even though I've got a PVA bag on it, once I've dropped it by the time I've driven all the way back in the boat the PVA is melted and then when I was tightening up, it's always fish tight lines, when I was tightening up I moved the lead and put in the hook into uh, the leaves so I was getting the fish picking up the bait but just weren't getting the hook so knowing that's what I done wrong last time this time I've been really really careful and so far it's paid off uh, at about half ten I had my first run which was a uh, little tiny 15 pound 10 ounce mirror it's one of the babies that are growing on in here it's good to see that they're starting to get a bit bigger uh, and then it's just before 12 o'clock I've got another run it comes straight in towards me I thought this is a could be another small one and then it started to fight right in the margin and the longer the fight went I knew it was going to be a good fish and then I see a flash of two tone and I had Max, a fish I've had before and it was nice to see him and it he was 44 pound uh 44 pounds 10 ounce so i'm really happy i've just got both rods back out and both of them were on the villa Fon rig on a single piece of uh pink pop-up corn but they were just i come up yesterday and baited a spot but both these fish are just off to the left of the spot so I'm I wondered whether the rod that's actually on the baited spot is uh, there was it was in a bad spot so I reeled that one in as well and I've just changed that one I put that one on the bottom bait so I'll see how that one goes but I figured as that one wasn't going that was the one I was expecting to go maybe it, I've dropped it too close into the rocks so I've redone them both and now fingers crossed we'll have more Right, it's now about one o'clock, I'm about to pack up and go home. The weather has turned really, really windy and heavy rain. But, my dad uh, popped up the other side of the lake to do, he turned up at ten o'clock. They've been there, so it's one o'clock now, so, and he's just landed a new PB for him, which I'm really happy. It's, uh, I believe, a fish called slate grey, but it might not be, uh, but it was 51 pound. So, really great. We've both had nice fish so as the weather's turned I'm going to call it a day and go home. See you next time.